So guys, finally Strange World came out. I've been on the edge of my seat for years waiting for this masterpiece to finally be released. And it came out like a wet fart that leaves that little mud stain in the back of your underwear and then your mom looks at it like, are, are you serious? You gotta wipe all the way. It's like, mom, it wasn't for me not wiping. It was because I, it was a wet fart. Mom, and then she has to spray that stain stuff on there, throw it in the wash, and it's still there. It stays there. It doesn't go anywhere. It stays there. The stain remover doesn't work. And I know a lot of people are probably confused. What the hell is Strange World? What is this movie that you were so excited for? Well, yeah, uh, a lot of people are saying the same thing. Wait a second, a Disney movie came out and I didn't know about it? Yeah, that that's that's the that's the issue here. But one fateful day, someone in my chat said, hey, you should check out Strange World. And I thought they meant like Stranger Things or something. I, I was like, what, what the heck are you talking about Strange World? So on that stream, I went investigating, trying to figure out what this was. I watched the trailer and I was kind of confused because the trailer was uh, was kind of good. It wasn't bad at all. And the thing that really threw me off here is this trailer has 80,000 dislikes and only 50,000 likes, which I was like, okay, this movie must be hot garbage, right? But I mean, sure, the trailer looks cool and like the designs look great and all that stuff. I mean, sure, the trailer kind of spoils a lot of the movie, but I mean, it's, it's, that's what every trailer does. So I started researching a little bit more and I couldn't figure out why this movie was so hated and why everyone disliked this movie. The only thing I could find is a freaking Ben Shapiro video. If you are a parent and you would not like your child to see hardcore gay porn, then you should not watch this movie. Literally the only thing I ever really saw was just right wing YouTube titles. Shocking in all caps. Nobody wants to see an animated movie about gay teens. Disney's gayest movie of the year, hilariously flopped. Disney's woke strange film gets destroyed. Elites have hilarious meltdown. Disney's gay kids movie loses a hundred million dollars. Coincidence? I even went to the place with the most intellectual debates possible. Twitter. And even there, it didn't make any sense. The only thing I ever saw was people complaining that the main character was gay. And in my head, I'm like, there's no possible way. The only reason everyone hates this movie is just because the main character is gay, right? So I stewed in my perpetual confusion just waiting for the day that the movie came out on Disney Plus because, you know, I'm I'm, I'm not gonna go to a movie theater. You know, especially if it's just gonna be coming out on Disney Plus in a couple weeks is not really a point. And the problem about me watching this movie and, and, and seeing it for the first time is it only just added to my confusion because the movie, it's not bad. It, it, it's it's not bad at all. It, it's creative. The visuals are honestly really cool at times. The father-son underlying story dynamic, you know, teaching your children that you don't have to be like your parents. Uh, you could be your own person. Actually, I was kind of worried that they were going to like make a caricature out of the gay main character and make it overbearing and annoying and like shove it in your face, but no. It was handled perfectly. So first of all, before we get into the details explaining why people hate this movie so much, let's talk about why this movie actually bombed in the first place. And I know this is contrary to popular belief, but no, it's not because the main character's gay. And when I say this movie did bad, it was actually, I'm pretty certain, the biggest bomb at the box office that Disney has ever ever seen. Only grossing 67 million when the budget was over 180 million. That is over a hundred million dollar loss. And apparently the reason for this has to do with the recent fiasco with Disney CEO being fired. You know, the, the legendary Bob Capek. This man single-handedly lost Disney millions upon millions of dollars, which I mean, I don't really care much about Disney losing money. I honestly find it funny. But after Rob Iger retired and Bob Capek took the throne, boy, he just shat on it. But apparently the reason for them not really promoting this movie much at all, because let's be real, no one's really heard of it. You guys probably haven't even heard of this movie before. The reason is because Bob Capek thinks that animation is a waste of time. And the main reason for that is he believes that animated movies are solely for children and adults just don't like animated movies. I always say that one, our fans and our audiences put their kids to bed at night after watching Pinocchio or Dumbo or Little Mermaid 
they're probably not going to tune into another animated movie. Mm -hmm. they, they want something for them. So the promotion of this film was extremely lackluster. I guess they just were hoping that, oh, it's Disney, so everyone will just figure out about it. But technically, it's not like confirmed that it's Bob Capek's fault. I just did a little research and saw some of that, but there's actually another theory that people believe is another reason why they didn't advertise it, which actually has to do with the main character being gay. Because since they had a main character that was gay, this was actually banned in specific countries that, you know, don't really allow that kind of stuff. And some people believe that maybe Disney was apprehensive about doing like a heavy promotion of a movie that has a lead gay character because, you know, it's banned in different countries and they're worried about getting some controversy. But if that's the case, that kind of just backfired on them because it just makes them look bad that they didn't promote a movie that has a lead gay character. But there isn't like a one true meaning as to why it wasn't promoted well. I think it was just a combination of a bunch of different really, really dumb reasons that it didn't get promoted. And also the fact that it was released in theaters had something to do with it because, you know, we live in a world now, Netflix, Hulu, Disney+, Plus, Paramount, etc. Like, all things are released on those platforms now where people are like, and eh, I'm not gonna go to freaking see it in the theater. I'm just gonna chill at home and wait for it to go on cassette. Which is literally what I did. I didn't go to the theaters because I'm like, oh, it's gonna be on Disney Plus in a couple weeks. What's the point? So let's talk about why the audience hate it. Why the people who saw this movie ended up hating it. And I know, even after everything I've mentioned, you're still probably thinking there's no possible way it's because the main character's gay. Right? That's why. That's why everyone's upset. I cannot find any other information except the fact that they think that it's inappropriate to have a main character that's gay. Okay, let me rephrase that. The reason they're truly upset is the fact that the main character is underage and not joking, throughout the movie, the only thing that ever happens with him and his crush is he mentions that he has a crush on him, and then in the end, they date. They don't kiss, they don't make out, they don't even hold hands. But apparently, it's just way too sexual for your children. And I also think it's hilarious because in this movie, the dad and the grandfather didn't give a shit that Ethan was gay. Like there was a part when Ethan was talking about how he had a crush on a guy and his grandpa was like, oh, what's his name? He sounds like a cool guy. Which is another reason why people are so mad because they're like, why is the grandfather being so nice to him? He should be questioning why he's gay. He should not be allowing this. I just don't get it. Every time I see an underage gay couple, the only thing I can do is picture them having sex. So that must be what my child is gonna think if they see a gay couple that's underage. All they're gonna think about is them having gay sex. And I just can't stop thinking about gay sex. Oh, what, because I see an underage gay couple, the first thing that comes to mind is sex, it's my fault? No! So out of curiosity, I decided to delve into the intellectuals of Google reviews, and I found the most liked comment. Yes, by far, 900 people considered this a helpful comment, by the way. I want you all to realize that. 900 people. The next closest one was 200. So this is a good example of what everyone is feeling with this movie. Spoiler warning, not that it matters. This movie's garbage. Literally the worst Disney movie ever for starters. This is the TLDR version of everything wrong with it. Strap in ladies and gentlemen, this is gonna be a wild ride. Number one. Title logo copies Indiana Jones. That in of itself is dishonoring the Indiana Jones franchise, rather insulting in my opinion, even though highly obvious that it is heavily inspired by Indiana Jones. But whatever, let's move on to the next one. Pro same sex underage in parentheses. Oh boy, here we go. Pretty sure this isn't something a parent would take their kid to see. And they're flirting? And, 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 and he talks about how he wants to, he has a crush on him? Ew! That is the equivalency of hardcore porn. Dad leaves for milk and eggs, ends up dead. 25 years, in parentheses, plot. Son finds dad 25 years later. 
not dead. I don't really know what they're complaining about here. Are they saying that it's a trope? I don't even understand what the trope would be here. So I don't really understand what you're complaining about. Rather than farming Pando, a plant source of energy, they never developed it enough where they could create their own energy or maybe use Pando to jumpstart a different energy source. Now, I'm gonna get into the movie details a, a little bit later on, but basically in this movie, the father, uh, a searcher, he finds a plant that is basically renewable energy. It is a clean source of energy. You literally grow it on a farm. So let me ask you this. When you live in a world where you have clean, renewable energy with zero drawbacks, why would you try to find a different source of energy? Why would you try to find something better when you literally have the best of the best right in front of your eyes? That is just stupid and wrong. Moving on. Number five, Searcher is arguing with his dad, Jaeger Clade, about Ethan, about becoming either a farmer or an explorer. They fight about that more so than Ethan being gay. Not once did anyone bat an eye or even question it, but let's question Ethan's interest as an occupation hobby, not his sexuality. Very bad choice, Disney. You're complaining that the parents didn't question his sexuality. Why are you not questioning him? Why are you not bullying the child for being a homosexual? You should be forcing the parents to make fun of him and call him names and disown him for being gay. Who cares about what the child wants to be when they grow up, what their occupation is, what, what, what they aspire to be. What I care about is who they're attracted to. This is a real comment. This is, this is real. This is, this is the most liked comment, guys. This is a PG film? Um, what? Just because it's animated doesn't mean it gets a pass. No doubt in my mind this is a PG-13 movie. Ethan is 16. So, with the tones of making him a gay character alone, should automatically label it as a PG-13 film. Because everyone knows if someone is gay, it's the equivalency of hardcore porn. I'm not gonna let my child watch a film to make them believe that being gay is an okay thing. Like we see the parent and the grandparent both being very accepting of it. I don't want my child thinking that that's okay. That parents are just going to accept you for being who you are. That's, that's terrible. Oh, this next one's even better, guys. Not a total deal breaker, but the majority of characters have a tan skin tone. However, Searcher and Meridian Clade are the only interracial couple we see in this film, which just feels so out of place, as though it was trying to show support in both interracial couples, which is fine, but also same-sex interracial relationships at the same time. Help me. Help. This isn't real. This isn't, this isn't real. Like, th I'm not, this isn't real. This next one is also a spoiler, so I'm not going to read it, but uh, all it says is this film is predictable, which I just want to mention. Uh, it's not. The ending is actually quite a good twist. I really don't know how in any way you'd be able to predict the ending, but um, all right. What a wonderful review of this god awful movie. Now, after hearing what the masses have to say, uh, do you guys wanna see that movie? I don't. What if my son turns gay from watching a character that's gay? I don't want him thinking that he's allowed to be gay in my household. All right, so let's talk about the actual movie, shall we? So the movie starts out with the introduction to Jaeger Clade. He is like a incredible uh, adventurer. He he travels the lands. He goes to all these undiscovered places. He's, he's kind of like a huge deal for everybody. And then we have his son, Searcher Clade. And right off the bat, we could tell that Searcher isn't as much of an adventurer as his dad is. And what his big goal is, is to travel over these huge mountains that are so tall that no one can get past them. Jaeger Clade's goal is to be the first person to get past these mountains. So we get this part where Jaeger and Searcher and their group are traveling through the mountains and Searcher ends up finding these plants that have power running through them. And where Searcher kind of just wants to find a discovery for the town, all his dad cares about is just getting to the other side of the mountain. You can already tell the Jaeger Clade's kind of a, a bad father where he cares about himself and his goal way more than he ever cared about his son. So they get into a little fight because Searcher 
wants to take these plants back to town and then figure out what they could be used for because they have energy running through them. Whereas dad's like, no, ignore these plants. We need to go further to find what's across those mountains. And the group all agrees with Searcher to use these plants to take back and, and figure out what they are used for. And Jaeger gets all upset and takes off on his own, never to be seen again. And now we skip to 25 years in the future. Searcher is basically the hero of the entire town because that plant that he brought back is a renewable source of energy and a clean source of energy because he runs a farm there where he farms all these plants and that's how the town gets all of the energy. And then we get this next part, which is just way too sexual for children, where Ethan is flirting with this guy who he has a crush on and uh, all he does is uh, take his hat, laugh a little bit. They they giggle, and uh, that's it. Don't take your don't take your kids to this. This is some naughty stuff. This is some naughty stuff. And what makes matters worse is Searcher Ethan's dad goes up to him and is nice to him. What he should be doing is yelling at him for being gay. <laughs> Why are you gay? That's what he should be doing like a real man. So throughout this movie, Ethan has his appreciation for Jaeger Clade. He didn't really know anything about him because obviously he wasn't around when Ethan was born. But you know, Jaeger Clade is like the hero of the town. He's like the cool adventurer everyone knows. And so Searcher is constantly worried that Ethan is just gonna like Jaeger more than him or look up to Jaeger more than he looks up to him. Because obviously he would be upset about that because Searcher's dad, Jaeger, is kind of not a good dad. And then we have Callisto flying down to his farm and saying that they need Searcher's help because there's something weird going on with the electric plants. And obviously Searcher was quite reluctant about this because he doesn't want to go on adventures like his dad you know he wants to just be a humble little farmer so they find out that this pando plant is actually one big source of energy like underneath the earth and they're trying to figure out what is going on with that main source of energy where the plants are dying and that's like their entire goal here and then we get that you know, classic situation where the researchers like, no, Ethan, you can't go. And then Ethan finds his way onto the ship. And not only that, but so does his mom. They, so the, basically the entire family ends up going on this adventure inadvertently. So they crash land down there and Searcher ends up finding his long lost father who has been stuck down there for 25 years. And throughout the movie, it's just a constant tug of war with the dad and the grandfather of who gets Ethan's favor. Whereas Ethan's more like, hey, I want to do my own thing. I don't want to be a farmer. I don't want to be an adventurer. I want to do my own thing kind of deal. While the dad and the grandpa are both fighting over uh, who's going to look up to me more. But anyway, Ethan finds a little uh, Splat character and names him Splat. You know, that little... Uh, thing that uh, Disney could sell plushies of in the future. And throughout the movie, there's honestly like very cool character concepts, like uh, creatures and enemies that are just really unique and, and cool looking. And the things that they do are just cool. Like it's such a unique and, and creative thing. Like all the monsters and stuff they have in this, like nothing's basic, nothing's normal. And I honestly like it a lot. But there's one really bad enemy that they all uh, have to run from, which is the Reapers, which are basically just big tentacle monsters, which honestly, the concept of them is pretty creepy. Kind of reminds me of, like something off of Elden Ring. And then we get another situation that just fills my heart with anger. Because Jaeger is talking with Ethan, having some conversation, getting to know him because it is his grandson. And then he asks him if he has any, any crushes or anything back home. And then he tells him about Diazo. And the thing that makes me so angry is he doesn't even question the fact that he likes a boy. What the heck? He should be angry at him for liking boys. That's not cool, bro. The thing I don't get about this is uh, the fact that they mentioned that he's underage. No human is allowed to date anyone or, or have a crush on anyone until they reach 18. You know, that bad. But anyway, Jaeger tells him that the best way to get to his heart is uh, put him in a deadly situation and then save his life. So you can kind of tell like Jaeger's uh, a little bit off his rocker when it comes to uh, fatherly or grandfatherly advice. And then we get a little bit of a fight between Jaeger and Searcher because Searcher's like, no, he looks up to me. And Jaeger's like, no, he looks up to me. And you know, that little quarrel that's going on. And then in the end, Ethan's like, you both suck. All right, cause you want me to be like you and you want me to be like you. You guys don't give a crap who I want to be myself. 
which is a, a good lesson. And throughout this movie, the dynamic between Searcher, Jaeger, and, and Ethan is really good because Searcher's having daddy issues with Jaeger and Ethan's having daddy issues with Searcher and also with Jaeger at the same time because they're kind of projecting with Ethan because they both have their own little drama going on. But then Jaeger confides to Searcher that the main reason he didn't come back is, oh, well, obviously he was stuck down there and he didn't know how to get back. But also the fact that he's already committed his entire life to being an adventurer and to find the other side of the island and to get on the other side of the mountains. And he felt like if he gave up being an explorer, if he gave up this search when he's already so far in and so close, then he would just be nothing. Then all of that work would be for naught. And then obviously later on, he starts to realize that you know, it wasn't even really worth it in the end. But as the movie goes on, Searcher and Ethan kind of make up and, and you know, Searcher's like, yeah, you get, you can be your own person. You don't have to be like me. Like, I need to stop pushing this on you, stuff like that. Same with Jaeger as well. Jaeger realizes, oh, I should actually care about my son. And even at the end gives up his final goal just so he can go help Searcher. I'm not gonna spoil any more of the movie because personally, I think the ending is really cool and unique and different. But the reason the plants were dying wasn't because of what they thought it was and the thing that was giving them energy wasn't what they thought it was in the first place. And you know, it, it, there's, there's twists. There's twists that are cool in this and I like it. But all in all, great movie. Uh, everyone is a whiny baby bitch. Go watch it, all right? Go watch it. Seriously, it, it, it's honestly a pretty freaking good movie. Don't listen to all the negative reviews because the majority of them are just whining and complaining that there's a gay main character and also that the parents don't care that they're gay. That That's it. That's the only reason people don't like it. And obviously because of the whole Disney thing where Disney didn't promote it that well and it was a big bomb at the box office, whatever. It's honestly underrated. They shouldn't have gotten this much shit. Uh, good. Good movie. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe. Please tell your friends about me. Seriously, I'm my channel is dying. I am, I am dying. Me. I'm dying. You don't want me to die. You don't, you're, you're literally staring at me on my deathbed laughing right now. Are you gonna allow that? You just gonna allow me just to die? That's on your hands. You understand that, right? That's on your hands. Take your hands out of your pants. Look at them. Yeah. Think about it. Bye.